Ryder, one of your father's memories is available. Let's see it. This memory is from when your parents returned to Earth, after your mother was diagnosed with her disease. It's simple. We take Sam. Who? I named the AI. Simulated Adaptive Matrix. Sam. We use your research and interface Sam with an implant. Um, my work on biotic implants was yielding results, but this, I don't know. What did the doctor say? Alec. What did he say? It's getting worse. There's your answer. This will work. Sam can fix you. Alec, I'm not some war you have to win. You're not an N7 anymore. That doesn't mean we- They kicked you out of the Alliance for this. We're talking about your life. Alec, did you ever consider that maybe it's my time to go? I'm human. We die. It happens. Ellen, please. Losing you is not an option. The kids aren't gonna lose their mother. God knows they never had a father. Then give them one. They just asked for a refund. So can this Sam talk yet? Hello, Ellen. Why did the tree go to the dentist? Um... To get a root canal. <laughs> Humor algorithms. I can't seem to get the hang of it. Or maybe it's the guy teaching them? That felt so real. Mom was right there. Alive. It was the first time I met Ellen. My education on human mortality began that day. Your mother seemed prepared to die. But Dad wasn't ready. Mom was just trying to prepare him. Even though all human beings one day expire. Yeah, but when it's someone you love, it's not that cut and dry. I'm beginning to understand where your father's resolve came from. Private audio logs are now available in your father's quarters. Your progress as Pathfinder has unlocked an additional memory. Let's see it. This memory is of a family gathering on Earth. Finally, the Ryder clan in one room. It feels like it's been years since we were together. Or more. Well, I'll take whatever I can get. I've missed you two. How are you feeling, Mom? No, we're not doing that. There's only one rule for this visit. No talking about me. I'm fine. And when I'm not, the pills help. Deal? Okay. Good. Let's talk about something else. Alec? Um... Really? Well, uh... You're both looking... taller. Yeah, Dad, that does tend to happen. Right, right, I know. So, um... I heard the Alliance has a new Mako in the works. Yeah, word is they can airdrop this one from a ship. I know. They're saying we might get one on our next expedition. You still poking around the Attic in Traverse? It's amazing. We think we might have found a Prothean site. No artifacts yet, but we're still digging. Ah, uh, I remember the day they found the first ruins on Mars. Changed my life. We knew for sure that aliens were real. We just had to go find them. Yes, every day I wake up, I'm looking at a Mass Effect relay, and I keep thinking, what's on the other side? Don't lose that. The minute you stop wondering what's beyond the mountain, you die a little inside. No chance of that. It's in our blood. You infected us. What was it like, Dad? When you went through that first relay? <laughs> Don't believe the stories. The Garon relay scared the shit out of us. Admiral Grissom included. Why don't we go have this dinner your mom's been slaving over all day? I'll tell you all about it. I remember that. Mom complained the Ryder clan was never in the same room at the same time. Odd, considering you were family. That's all you need to know. Dad wasn't much fun to hang around with. The awkward silences could last for hours. Yet you shared a common interest. Yeah, good or bad, your parents rub off on you. A form of symbiosis? Sure, I suppose. Though not always beneficial. It gave rise to you. Jury's still out on that. Nevertheless, 
The emotional bonds among family became clear to me that day. I detect additional memories, but they are currently locked. They may yet hold answers. Okay, I'll keep working on it. That's all for now. Of course. Your father's personal logs. Give me that, Alec. We've heard enough of you talking. Right. So, here's the irony. My research on biotic implants and ESO caused this stupid disease. But maybe it'll save me, too. No maybe about it. Hey, this is my secret log. Anyway, the right type of implant joined with the right type of AI could actually bolster human physiology. Even as the disease is trying to kill me, the implant and Sam are counteracting it, keeping things balanced. Result? I get to hang around a little longer. Maybe collect on all those anniversary dinners this guy owes me. As a Quarian and Historian, how do you view your people's reaction to the Geth? Well, we banned artificial intelligence, which was understandable, but that was taking a hammer to a rather delicate nail. Which was what? The very thing that sparked the revolt. The first Geth who asked us, Creator, does this unit have a soul? But how could it have a soul? Geth had no meaningful perceptions of the world or diversity of experiences we take for granted. Worse, the Geth saw us as the Creator. The revolt was inevitable. We were their superiors, and they resented it. Ryder. Barla Bond says you're looking for me. It's not every day an XN7 looks for the Shadow Broker. Anything can be had, provided you can pay. Especially when the tech involves artificial intelligence. The Council will have specters all over my ass if they catch wind of this. Translation, I'll get you the code you want, but the price just doubled. If you try to renege, I've got people. People with guns. Just stand down, ma'am. Or you'll shoot me. Good luck explaining that to my grandchildren. What happened? She was about to disconnect the water hoses, threaten all the plants. They're saying the leaders won't wake our families. Well, this is how far we're willing to go. Their move. If you resort to violence, so will the leadership. And they have the militia. We're not the enemy. Why is it so hard to push a button and help mom? Take it easy, kid. The Pathfinder's got a point. I'll go off station if I have to. I'll find anyone who'll actually do something. You want your mom to wake up and find you exiled or dead? I... Reese, don't. Anything's better than that. Even the longest wait of our lives. When our families hear about this, they'll probably agree with the Pathfinder. You're done here. Come on. Driving them, aren't you?
Welcome back. I never get out in the field with you guys. <laughs> Maybe for the best. I've got an enough people to patch up without Gil tripping over Karkins. Not the backup I was hoping for, Lexi. Back again? See you later, Cora. I'll be here. I got a copy of the Nexus's movie library. Thanks. I'll look through it. It's probably all agricultural learning vids, but there might be something good. I'll keep you posted. system. It's almost lost in the Scourge. What else could be lost out there? Anomaly detected. Probe away. Detecting what's left of a ship. Anomaly detected. Deploying probe. Getting a scan.
looks mostly unexplored. It was charted. Once. Then the scourge happened. What's old is new. I'm picking up something. Probes launched. Getting a scan. Anomaly detected. Deploying probe. Satellite detected. Forget how small we are. One day that might be true again. Anomaly detected. Probes launched. Got a reading from the asteroid belt.
anomaly detected. Deploying probe. Tracking a huge mineral deposit. Anomaly detected. Probe away. Detecting what's left of a ship. Anomaly on sensors. Getting a scan. Okay, bundle up, people. I'll stay on my nice warm ship. Take her down, Callow. We designated this planet Habitat 6. Original readings suggest that it had a breathable, nitrogen-rich atmosphere and oceans of H2O. I take it that's no longer the case. All H2O on Habitat 6 folds the Angarai. is ice. And those oceans? Frozen over completely. There goes the dream of a seaside property. That's a pretty intense blizzard. LZ is on the windward side of the mountain. Conditions are bad. I'm tracking gale force squalls. We're good. We're good. You sure? Want us to get out and push? Very funny, Ryder. Oh, Zuby wasn't kidding about the cold. Secluded. Blizzard provides cover. Great for a hidden base. Where are we meeting the resistance team? Sent you the nav point. Good luck, Pathfinder. Haters. I need to warm up for a bit. This cold is cutting through to the bone. Almost at the base now. Make sure you talk to Commander Anyik when you arrive. Temperatures are below freezing and continuing to fall. Life support is back online. Took two hours to scrape the out of my ship. Now I turn around and it's already coming back. Let it be. Take off as you Words getting around that you're all right. I'll decide you myself I once I talk to Ezra. That's me. We're the team assigned to breach the facility with you. 
hopefully rescue Moshai Sefer. I'm your pilot. The Ket facility is on the other side of the planet. Ready to head out? I'll be back. And we'll be here. You must be Ryder. Jal told us what you did for Kirin's team on Haval. I'm Anyik Dozil, commander of this encampment. You're welcome here as an ally of the Angara. I appreciate the warm welcome. It's a joke. To break the ice? Get it? Warm welcome? Ice? Ryder? No. Probably a translation thing. Perhaps. Strange jokes aside, I hope you will join our fight against the Ket. We could certainly use the help. We've held the Ket at bay, but have been unable to deal a decisive blow. The longer things drag on, the greater our disadvantage. That's why I came here. To help. If you want to know where you can make a difference, go to the post that overlooks the valley. Nothing happens on Vold without our lookouts knowing about it. Before you go, is there anything else I can help you with? I've met Ephra. He's... interesting. He's never been good at first impressions. He can be stern, but he's exactly what the Resistance needs. Ephra took a scattered band of civilian fighters and molded them into an effective army. What success we've had against the Ket is entirely due to his leadership. Most people seem to really respect him. Because he would do anything for his people, he inspires the same in us. We may not always agree with Ephra, but we'd follow him to the end of the stars. That's it for now. I'll be here if you have any questions. An impressive soon. surveillance system. You don't see any cat. You don't win all. Or without good organization, just close to the camp. That's the planet with everything on it. Pathfinder, I was told to expect you. Davia Kars, Chief Intelligence Officer. I want to brief you on Vold. Any questions about the planet? Ask away. Is that a map of Vold? A living map, yes. Every region on the planet is represented. Updated in real time, as we get information from scouts and contacts. You can see the nearest Dara, the Jara Techix, and Yarnik, the archaeological dig the Ket have occupied. You mentioned the word Dar. What does it mean? Well, translated directly, it means rock foundation. A Dar is smaller than a city, but larger than a settlement. There are several out here. Angara who live in Dara are combat trained, ready for anything. I guess they need to be. They take pride in defending themselves. But the Ket are bolder lately. The Dara are their new target. We've had to change our tactics to protect them. More patrols with the Dara means fewer raids on Ket camps. The Ket know this and use it against us. I think I have enough info. If you need anything else, I'll be here. like supplies aren't getting through to the resistance. Maybe we should talk to the requisitions officer. I can't go to the vehicle. 
I'll find her. Something I can do for you? You the requisitions officer? I hear you're having supply issues. Of course not. I don't know what you've heard, but everything is running fine. Your communications say otherwise. You haven't received a shipment in weeks. And those data pads are encrypted. How did you... <sighs> I need to keep this news contained. No one knows the shipments have stopped. If word gets around, we'll have a serious morale drop. I need to investigate this quietly. You have any leads? Not much. The supplies make it planet side, but never reach the base. The obvious answer is the Kent. Sabotage is their style. We changed our drop point, but no luck. I can't send someone to investigate without word getting around. I guess there's no avoiding it eventually. I can take a look at the drop point. That way no one will panic. I can't sanction an official search, but I also can't stop you from investigating on your own. The nav point for the last drop location is in my personal console. You seem to be adept at decryption, so I'll let you figure out the rest. Decryption successful, Pathfinder. Updating your nav system with a supply drop point. Didn't mean to sneak up on you. It's the alien. The one that helped out on Havaro. Didn't expect an alien to help. They've mostly tried to kill and enslave us. So that's amazing. You are amazing. Shut up, Beniska. You're embarrassing. You shut up. I'm being charming, right? The Angara have been wonderful to us, including yourself. So thank you. See? We're building bonds here to seek. So what's out there? Any tips? As a start, you could join our fight in Hajara, where those red lights are. I hear someone's looking for help. Or you could just go there and kill some cat. They're everywhere. Anything else you need to know? We've been stationed here forever, so we're experts. Those red lights. You said that's Hajara? Yes. Hajara Station. One of the Dar in the valley. It's a small community, mostly scientists. There's people there that might need help, if you haven't checked it out already. How do they live out there? Why so surprised? We've adapted to this weather. Those lights are conspicuous. Don't the cat attack? We've adapted to that too. The cat want to take us alive, so we fight to the death. It seems to deter them. What's that alien facility on that mountain over there? That's the Ket Command Center. We have constant eyes on it. What's its purpose? It controls Ket operations on the entire planet. There's always ships coming and going. I came face to face with the Prefect there, meanest, motherless Bissan I ever saw. Even the cat seemed afraid. We don't have much intel on her, though. Do you know of any remnant sites or ruins? Uh, I think so. Actually, I don't know. Seek, do you ever read the dailies? No, nope. you'll tell me if I need to know something. So where is it? Tall lights, over on your right somewhere. I'll let you get back to your work. Take care. Stay safe. Tempest, we're gonna need the Nomad. My position. Deploying forward station. Good luck, Ryder. Automated protocols activated. Deploying forward station. Extreme cold is detected, Pathfinder. Mining zones have been added to your nav system, Pathfinder. Environment temperature. Okay, Sam, what's Vold got for us? Cat activity appears to be centered around this large central command post. According to Resistance Intelligence, the base coordinates all Cat military efforts on Vold. And taking it down will cripple their operations. In theory. However, given the trouble the Angara Resistance has had infiltrating the base, it will not be a simple task. I recommend a more cautious approach that starts with the investigation of smaller Cat installations. What about the Angara? The Resistance, what's their status? Resistance dispatches indicate there is someone in Hojara who needs help. We could visit Tekix, 
a larger and more established Angara Dar that is nearby. Sounds good. Thanks, Sam. Pathfinder, Vault's temperature range is fixed well below freezing, with pockets of even more severe conditions. This necessitates the use of the Nomad. I advise against prolonged exposure to the cold. Got it. Don't crash the car. Our scans have detected remnant monoliths, which suggests the presence of a vault. And that means we might be able to melt this ice cube. All right, we've got our work cut out for us. Let's get going. I'm reading a severe temperature drop. Town Hill's always more fun. Trust me. Please be careful, Ryder. We're out of the worst of it. Temperature should be manageable now. Dead. Ah, I thought I could lead them the other way. If you hadn't come along, they'd be halfway to our camp by now. How bad are you hurt? Can you make it back? It'll be comical, but I can walk, and I know a secret route to the camp. Just wide enough for one. I can get back faster than you're over. We have to keep going. Go, go. I'll roll the cat bodies off the cliff before I head back. This area can be mined for resources. You can extract minerals via your mining interface. a data pad nearby. I'd live here, but then I could probably live anywhere. <sighs> Can you imagine the heating bills if we settled...
undocumented mineral nearby, Pathfinder. Protocols activated. Deploying forward station. They said it was a golden world. I'm still reeling. Whatever you think of it, this is a beautiful planet. Thinking about a frozen moon I was once stranded on, almost lost my good toe. Mining zones in this region are available, Pathfinder. I've added them to your nav system. The temperature is falling, Pathfinder. We saw this area from the lookout post. Let's see if someone here needs help. We can't just attack an entire Ket base. You're that alien people have been talking about. Some say we can't trust you. But if you're here to fight Ket, that's good enough for me. You made a quick decision about me. Uh, you got me. I hoped that if I flattered you, you'd help me rescue my uncle, Nilge. I had to try something. If the Ket move Nilge from the labor camp, we'll never find him again. Will you do it? Will you help me? I'll get your uncle. Here's the nav point of the labor camp. Please hurry. Nilge may not have much time. High-powered communications array. Most likely for planet-wide communications. Makes sense. Anything on that interference the researcher talked about? I am detecting a signal. It is faint, but this equipment is sensitive. Pathfinder, I also observe a regular pattern in this emitted signal. It may be artificial. Ket? The signal has no identifiers. It is possible the Ket are disrupting or listening in on Angara communications. I'm detecting below normal temperatures. The ambient temperature is normal. Life support is back online. Did you extract the metal from the 
found that oh. I did. It's strong. If we find more, we can send it to the resistance for processing. Keep digging. Well, I, I have haven't seen many of your kind around here, but I've heard lots about the Pathfinder from my friends on Aya. All good things, I hope. So far. I'll take a look at your stock. Got plenty of supplies. <laughs>